Okay, here we go. So this is lesson 5.8. We're on page 209. And I'm just going to go over um, how I want you guys to do these. I'll give you some, maybe an example with a couple of them. We'll talk about a couple of them. There isn't a whole lot to go over. This is really just kind of review and it's some word problems. But the first one here on page 209, it says write a word problem for the equation. Here's the equation. 2,530 divided by 23 equals Q. Well, Q would be the answer. We don't know what it, what it is. So it says solve the problem any way you choose. Well, the first thing you need to do is write a word problem. So let's say, uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, Mr. Coggin. G-I-N, right? Yeah. All right, Mr. Coggin, okay, is on a, is on a clone. I'll explain. Clone world. Okay. A clone is something identical to something else. So if we, if there was a clone of Mr. Coggin, there would be two Mr. Coggins. Okay, so shh, 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 shh. so Mr. Coggin is on a clone world, but there's not there's not two Mr. Coggins. There is um, uh, there is two thousand five hundred and thirty Mr. Coggin. Mr. Coggins. That's a lot of Mr. Coggins. Okay, now, shh, listen, shh, shh, and then enter, okay, a monster with big teeth and a big eye, okay, no, I'm just making up, this is my word problem, shh, shh, shh. okay, and, um, and this monster, for fun, eats, Coggins. Okay, there's a Mr. Coggin getting eaten there. Now, shh, shh. Now, uh, there are 23 holes in the ground that the Coggins can run into. Okay? So all the Coggins are running and trying to get into the holes before the monster eats them. Here's the monster's nose. Here we go. That's his nose. All right. So um, the question is, if all 2,530 Mr. Coggins dove into the holes, we'll say this one got spit out and he got dropped in the hole here. Okay. Okay. So, um, how many, if it was an even amount, how many would make it into the, how many in each hole? How many Coggins would there be in each hole? Well, so it should be obvious how you would figure that out. You're just going to simply divide uh, 2,530 Coggins by 23 holes. And that would be your answer. So I didn't write it all out, but you guys have to come up with your own, your own word problem. Okay, I don't care. So I don't care. So come up with your own. That was my word problem. You come up with your own word problem. Now, shh. Save the questions for when I'm done. All right. Next page. All right, um, you can look this one over. They give you an example on how to solve a particular word problem. And I'm not going to worry about the bottom part of the page. You can just put a line through that. All right, 211, page 211. It says, uh, Dana starts with 875 stamps in her stamp collection. Her grandparents give her 
332 stamps. So immediately I'm thinking 875 plus 332. And then she buys 72 more. And then um, plus 72 more. And it says, how many pages in her scrapbook can she fill? Well, gosh, they don't tell us. In this part, how many she could fit, how many um, stamps she can fit on a page. But if you look over here, they do 24 stamps on a page. So you're going to have to total those and then divide it by 24. But it says, what do you know? Well, tell me what you know. You know this information that I just wrote down here. So certain words. And then it says, what are you trying to find? Well, tell me, what are you trying to find? You're trying to, no, don't put the answer. Okay, shh. It says, um, how many pages in a scrapbook can she fill? That's what you're trying to find. That's number two. Number two would be this part right here. Okay. And then it says, how are the quantities related? Uh, what is the answer to the problem? I'm not worried about how they're related. What is the answer to the problem? And then it says, write equations to model your work. Well, I'm going to do the, the first equation. It's 875 plus 332 plus 72 equals, um, I'll put TS for total stamps. Okay. And then there's another equation, whatever that number is, I don't know. And that other equation would be uh, that number, I don't know what it is, divided by what? 24. Okay. All right. Bottom of that page, it says, Tanya is saving for a vacation. She wants to have at least $75 for each of the 12 days of her trip. If she saves $85 each month for 10 months, will she save enough money? There's two things you have to figure out with this first one. And that is, um, it's going to be $75 times 12. Okay. Then you're going to get a number. And I'll just call that, um, um, I'll just call it X, sure, why not? And then it says if she saves $85 each month for 10 months, will she save enough money? Well, you need to find out what 85 times 10, most of you, I would hope, could just do that in your head. That's going to be dollars, 850 and is that larger than X? If it is, then she could save enough money. If it's not, then she hasn't saved enough money. And it says, it says, use the strategy of mental math to find the total amount she will save and then write a division equation to see if she will save enough. Okay. So, um, actually, I'm not so concerned with you doing it the way they've told you to. I do want you for number four to give me uh, the answers. And the first answer is what X would be. $75 times 12. And then if 850 is enough. Okay. So that answer would be in here. I'm not concerned with how you solve it. I'm not going to make you solve it a particular way. And um, I'm not worried about this either. You can scratch out five. So just tell me what 75 times 12 is and then if 850 is enough. All right. And... Yeah, I think we'll end it there. Maybe uh, Monday we'll do this in class. So that'll be it. That's it. That's it. Not much, huh?